Hey guys, welcome to Four Kids in a Farm. My name is Aaron. I'm Rachel. We wanted to share with you our delicious churro ice cream recipe. If you don't know what a churro is, welcome to Earth. A churro is a deep fried Mexican pastry that is rolled in cinnamon and sugar and sprinkled with magic. And it reminds you of everything that is good in this world and Disneyland and it is just a delicious, delicious pastry. We've taken all the parts and pieces, put it into an ice cream, and it is just a phenomenal, phenomenal dessert. We've teamed up with a few channels to share some of the dessert recipes that we love using ingredients from our own farm. So after you watch us make our churro ice cream, make sure you go over to those channels. Link below, they're gonna be awesome. Let them know that Four Kids in a Farm sent you, and we will get to making our churro ice cream. So this is a really simple recipe using eggs, milk, cream, vanilla that we've made homemade. The fresher ingredients that you use, the better the recipe will turn out. If you can get your stuff farm fresh or organic, it's gonna be way better than stuff that you can buy in the store. For this recipe, you need an ice cream maker, a blender, a bowl, and you'll need a few measuring cups. So the basis of this recipe is a custard vanilla ice cream. Custard ice cream just basically means you use egg yolks, but we will heat them both up in order to get rid of any bacteria. It's all gonna be pasteurized. For ingredients, we'll be using our chicken egg yolks, goat's milk, organic cream, organic sugar, a little bit of salt. We also need some cinnamon and some butter. So first thing we're gonna do is crack four eggs into this bowl. Now this is a trick I learned for making pasta. If you need to separate a lot of yolks, just cracking them in a bowl and then washing your hands obviously beforehand and just separating them like that and putting them in another bowl is a lot easier than cracking them and rolling them back and forth. And you just let that yolk slip between your fingers and you get some perfectly separated egg yolks. I mean, there's lots of tools that you can do this with, but a lot of times just your hand is the best thing you can use. And so once I have those yolks separated, I'm gonna add a cup of sugar. You can use whatever sugar you like. A splash of our homemade bourbon vanilla. And then this is gonna go in the blender. We are going to put in a pinch of salt, a half teaspoon of cinnamon. First part's done, now we need to put the liquid ingredients together. I'm gonna put them all in a Pyrex four cup measuring cup. We're gonna need a cup of milk. You can use cow's milk, we are using goat's milk. You will need a cup of cream or half and half if you care that it's a little bit more fattening or not. Either way, the more fat you use, the creamier this ice cream is going to be. And then we're gonna put a whole stick of butter in the milk with it. And then we're going to stick that in the microwave and microwave it for about two minutes. Or you can do this on the stove. You basically wanna heat it up to pasteurize it. And then in the end, you're gonna slowly pour this into the blender while it's blending. And what this is gonna do is it's slowly going to cook those egg yolks um, into a custard-like consistency. If you pour all of the milk in at the same time, you're just gonna have scrambled eggs. Slowly pouring it in while you blend it makes it so it comes out smooth but thick. So when you put it into your ice cream maker, you just get this dreamy, creamy, ice cream and it is so good. Super hot, I'm going to slowly pour it in while the blender's going. So I guess I shouldn't talk while the blender's on. So <laughs> slowly pour it in and then as it starts to incorporate, you can pour it in a little bit faster, but in the beginning, slowly, so you don't have scrambled sugary eggs, so. Ooh. 
So at this point, I mean, you can see, maybe you can, the steam coming off of it. It is still hot. It's fully pasteurized. And I'm going to taste it to make sure that it's sweet enough and it is phenomenal. You can put it in a jar, put it in the refrigerator or just put this whole thing in the refrigerator to let it cool down. Um, you know, if you're using a traditional ice cream machine, the one with ice, then you want to put your liquid in there cool already so you're not wasting ice. We have a electric ice cream machine, so we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna make it ice cream. Turn this liquid into ice cream. It's gonna be so good. So this is our DeLonghi gelato machine. Um, this thing is ancient. It's We got it when we were married, so it's like 14 years old. Yeah. And so it's got this special paddle in there that just makes the ice crystals really tiny and that makes the ice cream super creamy. So we, this has made many, many batches of ice cream and we hope this never dies. See, it's so old, we <laughs> can't even tell what it is anymore. I mean, if you guys are in the market for an ice cream machine or a gelato machine, this has been rock solid. We're gonna pour this ice cream in. I'm gonna get one of the kids to help me and then we'll go from there. Kids! <laughs> All right, come on, we're gonna get this going. Just turn it on. There's a couple settings. So this is off. This is, I don't know why you would just wanna turn it just to start mixing it. This is to actually make the ice cream. It's got the cold and the turn. And then once you're all done, you can just keep it on the cold to keep it frozen. So, pretty darn cold. Do it halfway. Just turn it on. Okay, that's good. Let this roll uh, for about 30 minutes, and we'll keep checking it. And This is actually a second batch. It was so much we had to do it in two. And I mean, this is so small that we, but it's okay because it's awesome. AJ, you want to get a spoon? Oh, yes. Okay, a moment of truth. Who needs to try some churro ice cream? Me. scoop these into waffle bowls that we got from the store. Okay, Bricky, what do you want on there? Here's chocolate? Chocolate soft but if you put it in the freezer we love it soft I guess
actually de leche. This is made with goat milk. So much color. Sugar high. That's real. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Just look at it. It's, that, that ice cream has its own pool of colors. Guys, that ice cream's almost gone. We're gonna keep enjoying it. Thank you for being here. Check out the other channels and remember, like and subscribe. subscribe. And if you wanna get really crazy, I'm gonna leave a link right here for a churro bowl that you can make at home to just make this like double churro. Okay guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.